It's freaking Spooktober. That's right. You know what you know you know what month it is. You know you know what month it is. It's Spooktober. It is the time of the Hallows Eve. It is the spooky season, the spoopy season, the doot season, okay? It is the time for the tricks and the scares. It is a beautiful, wonderful time in human history, which means I am going to be playing a scary game. Hey, yo, people, I'm KidBubbers3, and welcome to uh, the Call of Cthulhu. Now, I have seen this game around uh, for a long time, actually. I've wanted to play this game for a good little bit, and uh, I decided it would be a great idea to try to do it this month <coughs> for Halloween or October, whatever. Um, but me being the brilliant, big brain marketing genius I am, I waited till the, today is the 16th. Um, so, the literal halfway point of the month, which solidifies the fact that I will not have this game finished by Halloween of next year. But anyways, this game looks really good. It is based off of H.P. Lovecraft's book of the same title. If you have not read the book, good, because I haven't either, and I don't want a bunch of nerds in my comment section telling me how different it is. No, but if you have read the book, uh, I do actually kind of want to know some of the different differences. Uh, I have the book, I just haven't read it. I might try to read it as I go through this game. Uh, for those of you who don't know anything about the story, uh, Cthulhu is a kind of deity that H.P. Lovecraft invented, and there is a cult that worships him. I don't know much more about that uh, about it than that. H.P. Uh, Lovecraft's big thing was the fear of the unknown, which is something I'm really into. So this game probably will have flashy images, will probably be extremely scary. Uh, so if you're not into that kind of thing, please just go away, okay? Go. Leave. But anyways, without much further ado, uh, this is Call of Cthulhu. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his torpor. I don't know what that mean word means. Pierce must find a new case quickly or risk losing his license. Hmm. Enter madness. Uh, can I not? I would prefer to stay perfectly sane. Screw it. If I am mad, it is mercy. It says it like three different places on the screen. May the gods pity the man who is in his callousness can remain sane in the hideous end. H.P. Lovecraft. Or to the hideous end. I'm sorry. I can't read, apparently. Okay, someone is freaking bedinging me in Discord. I'm sorry. I should turn it off. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yes, I'm surrounded by scary things, but I didn't expect a shark. Shut up. I'm... Half paying attention, half not. So am I Edward Pierce? And why the crap am I here? Edward, you got yourself in over your head, okay? This is... This is beyond you, okay? This is... But you need help. Alright. Uh, that's a shark. That, that's a sh that's another, that, okay, there are a lot of sharks. What, do they have a thing against sharks? Okay, look, I know a shark, he took, he took your arm, okay, but like, this might be a little overkill. Okay, guys, that, uh, crouch. I don't know if I like the fact that it's telling me I can crouch. Okay, how do I interact? Is it E? It is E. <laughs> well, that was useless. Oh, hey, I go through here. Do I have a flashlight? I don't have a flashlight. It's dark. I don't like the dark. It's probably darker for you because for some reason, uh, whenever I edit a video, uh, it looks a whole heck of a ton darker than it really is uh, for me. It, it looks it looks darker to you guys. Can I sprint? I, oh, I can sprint. Oh, oh, oh. You must light up some items in order to interact with them. Oh, I bet it's a piece of paper. But it tells me things. Oh no! <laughs> Hurricane lamp. Okay. Uh, bolt cutter. Can I use? Does it automatically use the bolt cutter? It does. Oh my gosh! That is the biggest of all brains. And I was <laughs> freaking crap. I love this game already, but I also hate it already. So over there is probably where I could have gone in the other way. More dead... Is that a shark or a dolphin? That is a dolphin. 
He's not happy. Okay, whoever the heck is cutting up these sharks, your big boy, your man upstairs, if you know what I mean, he's not, he don't enjoy it. Hold down shift to run. Why am I, why am I running? Why, why? Don't do that. At least I don't think I have stamina. Stam, 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 stamina. Everything has already been written. Who? What? But perhaps you will attempt to change your destiny. What? Is this all like a metaphorical intro? Okay. Freaking crap. Okay. <laughs> yes, blame it on the freaking whiskey. Let's go. I believe that was more of a... He said something about it has all already been written, so I believe everything Married that's going to happen. The husband couldn't understand it. Okay. Uh, uh, I can't talk right now. Uh, he said everything has already been written, so I'm assuming that means um, that everything that's going to happen... I'm going to see in dreams probably, and in those dream, and then in probably later I'll maybe have a uh, a chance to change those things. I'm sorry, I can't speak right now. Husband never understood that the wife had left him. He kept on calling me weeks after the investigation had been closed. Oh, he thought she was missing. Okay. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. The bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed his case, but when you're already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against the private detectives who's got proof against you. Oh. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Hmm, yes. School. Shut up! Yes, thank you. I needed that. Uh, I'm not gonna drink. I thought I said I wasn't gonna drink. Am I stupid? Did I click the one that said I am gonna drink? I'm an idiot. I'm actually dumb. I thought I was. I'm listening. Are you oh my gosh, I need help. Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency. And it said it's gonna affect That's me later. Good. Dang it! I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Personal information. Okay, allocate your character points. Each character points allows you to improve the score of a skill. <laughs> oh. Um, oh. Oh, I oh I like that one. I like that one a lot. Uh I feel like eloquence psychology. An investigation. Oh, occultism. Oh, I'm gonna need. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna need that discussion. Okay, I think I want that one. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna go with occultism right now. I'm gonna try to get psychology up next, and then maybe try to up occultism again, and then maybe go for some of these others. Okay, validate. Yes. Thank you for this information, Mr. Pierce. Our files will soon be yes, I gave you all of my my big May information. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, do you still- I'm coming. Okay, you don't have to say it so grouchily. Maybe I shouldn't have drinking that whiskey, like I intended to not to. Hello there. Sir, I came here on the advice of a person who that painting. I, hold in high I don't esteem. like that painting. I don't and like I must the painting. say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. I don't like that painting. 
You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. <laughs> All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? Uh, yes. It means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I don't want to look I at that painting. To look carefully that painting, at this I don't painting. like that painting. I don't like that painting. Tell me I don't know if I've said it enough. That come to mind. Oh, I don't like that painting. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic. A rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. I don't like That's that. That's all you've got? Like that painting. The painting? I placed a file Consult on your diary. desk. Okay. It contains everything I have on the affair. Examine the painting. Examine the Hawkins file. I don't like. I don't like. I don't like that painting. I don't like that painting. I'm gonna look at the file. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. Uh, a shipping label. Some of it's unreadable, but I can make out part of the address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater. Uh, the police report, it says that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decide on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist on Sarah and Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? A press cutting. An article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live in a reclusive life. They're there with their only son, Simon. Okay. New clue memorized file on Sarah Hawkins file. Okay, so I can look at it in my diary? Uh, well, repeat to me that I uh, need my memory. Okay, I don't need that. Heck you. Examine the Hawkins file. Can I not uh, navigate menu? Nope, that's up there. Got you. <laughs> I knew that. Oh, clues. Here we go. So I can cycle through clues. Um, inventory. I have a lighter that I engraved in memory of the 77th Infantry Division and the men of the Lost Battalion who fell. Pierce. Sanity. Why do I have... No. Uh-uh. Edward Pierce... Uh, nightmares. Uh, I don't want to deal with that right now. All right. Oh, I have to... It's strange beauty isn't enough to hide the feeling of dread it carries. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these... elements? You're asking the wrong guy. I read about the mental... Fr uh, something's not right with the story. Where did Sarah Hawkins live? Mm -hmm. I want to go with this one because the police were very insistent. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you <coughs> are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. I want to know more about Warehouse 36. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Okay, where did Sarah Hawkins live? That's all the information I need. Uh, where did Sarah Darkwater. Hawkins live? Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. 
Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. I think that's all I need. Because this will just take him off, and that might close the case. I want, I want to actually I think go. I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover. I just want, her I, I want to go to dark Quiet water now, down. or dark water now. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. My dog An is like trapped is with her family in a house fire. Trying to get off your my only bed. clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from dark water right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. Mm, All right. Money. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Dark water. Game safe. I think I've got a book Sweet. on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Okay. I used to be an avid reader. Learning of medicine. A dense work. I there was a lot of music that happened right there. Aimed at interns and young practitioners, the first volume lists all illnesses known in the civilized world. It details the symptoms and suitable treatments. Oh, I get it. Hold on. The Learning Medicines J Medicine Progression. Oh, does that actually up my medicine? Hold up. Uh, Pierce. Oh, it did. I think it just upped my medicine a little bit. Because it was at 10%. Let's go. Uh, I don't want to leave. He said a book. I have a book on it. Where is my book? Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, that looks like a shark. It was often mentioned like during a weird hunting times at the shark. end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with the many memories left by its lost tribes, but don't let the romanticism of these moving evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. A gigantic creature still ornates the walls of long abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? <clears throat> no one knows, but today's inhabitants, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters, still remember the mysterious and tumultuous story of their small land off the coast of Massachusetts. Okay. All I have to do is go to the port. I just so hope I that I can find a me? boat able to take me to dark water. Okay, I did hit the wrong one. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. I wonder why I still take these things. Sleeping pills. The doctors prescribed them when they when I returned from the war. They swore that it would put an end to my nightmares, but for a while now, their effect has been wearing off. All right. I'm going to leave now. Well, I now have the sleeping pills, so... Pierce took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is accused of having caused the fire that killed her and her family. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting. On the shipping label and address, a warehouse set on the docks of the island of Darkwater. This place seems to be the starting point for Pierce's investigation. Hello. Ooh. Another game soundtrack for me to... Uh, Praise the entire game way game through. I don't want to skip. Why would I skip? Focus Home Interactive presents. Aha! That was the intro. You thought it was anything more? <clears throat> You're wrong. Oh, I love this game already. Game by Cyanide Studio. Hey, that's the guy that plays with Soviet Womble. We're almost there. He looks like... <clears throat> He's got the same clothing as the guy who tried... One of the dummies that tried to shoot the guy with the weird tentacle arms in the intro. None of them had faces. 
So, like, that's why, that's partially why I think it was kind of like a, a foretelling of what's to come. Call of Cthulhu. Uh, he might be the same guy. There might be, I don't know if there's multiple endings in here, because it, it, it seems to have uh, kind of a your choices matter type thing going on. So, I don't know. I don't know if that changes the ending, or if it just makes it harder to get to the ending. Depending on what you do, it takes longer to finish the game. Hello, I am here. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island. Mr. I hate it already. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. Yeah, this is... This is wonderful. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Uh, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Welcome to Darkwater. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman and a great painter. What a New place thing. discovered in Dark Ford Port. You know what? Go have a drink of the stranded whale. What you need is a good pick me up. I don't Mitchell think I'm may going not to. be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. I don't As for me, think I like you'll that. find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Okay. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. All right, game saved. Talk to Fitzroy. That's Fitzroy, right? No, Fitzroy's the owner of the drunken whale. Or stranded whale. I don't know what it's called. It's the stranded whale. Prohibition. Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. <laughs> Hello. I have come for le whiskey. That was rude. <laughs> hey, be careful. Oh, 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 I'm savage. Oh, I don't like her. I don't like her already. She's, Let's she's Let's get scary. him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. It wasn't me who was lo we're looking for it. The guy didn't show respect. You're overdoing it. I'm sorry. Pure I'm sorry. instinct. I behaved like a hun. And I sincerely apologize. Veteran, huh? 307th Infantry Regiment. Oh. Well, that'll be okay for now. But the war is over. Try not to forget it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. It's fair. Uh, find out about Darkwater. Uh, why the, the stranded, stranded whale? whale? I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name it reminds us of the golden age of Darkwater, when Dark our whalers water. left for long months and came back sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. Hmm. Yeah, it shows. Uh, find out about Sarah what can Hawkins. you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Oh? Oh? Uh, it's true if they were strange. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah, well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. 
We yeah. saw them in the papers, and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. I think I already saw one. I don't like, like it very much. I've got what I need. Anything else? Yes, uh... I'm return. Order a drink. I'm looking you for Warehouse 36. Place is. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. Oh, it's hers. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams. I don't, I don't like that. that sort of thing. I don't like that. I don't. Screams. I don't like that. And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Mm, no prohibition I didn't expect here. to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? No, I think that's good. That'll be all for now. Thank you. I have talked to Le Fritz Roy. Uh, where's the creepy lady? Hi, creepy lady. Can I talk to her? What you looking at, stranger? Certainly put them away. Nothing at all. I'm just passing by. I don't Sorry. like the uh, the options. Let me so. drink, stranger. I wanted to confront her about how creepily she looked at me. I just wanted to walk up and be like, hey, yo, girl. You were looking at me creepily. Stop it. Get some help. Okay. Best pickup line of all freaking time. All right. Well, I'm going to have to end this episode here. I love this game already. I absolutely love this game already. It's got that just absolutely unnerving creepiness to it that i enjoy in horror i'm not very much someone who likes jump scares or you know extremely in your face very split second horror i like something that creates a very terrifying kind of creepy environment it doesn't tell you exactly what the problem is you have to find it out for yourself and that's why this game has kind of really interested me and why i really am loving it already i know i didn't get very far in this first episode but it it I got enough to lay a foundation, so I'm sorry I didn't get really far into it, but that is all the time I have for recording right now. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, please leave a like. I will probably be continuing this game again. I, I doubt I will finish it before Halloween. I wish I could, but I just my recording schedule is so screwed up. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like. And if you're new around here, uh, I do a lot of gaming, let's plays and what's not. So consider subscribing, maybe check out some of the other content on my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I upload a video. With all that said, I will see all of you guys in the next video.